here to what kind of uh, camping uh, <laughs> what the it's 106 miles to Chicago we got a full tank of gas half a pack of cigarettes it's dark and we're wearing sunglasses hit it First of all, before we get really get started, I want to thank all you subscribers for joining the channel. We appreciate that way down deep. I really, really do. And I thank you for being here with us. And thanks for going along with the journey with us. Well, welcome back to the channel. We'll probably get a little road noise from 95 over here. That goes south to Yuma, which is about, I guess, 70, 80 miles from here. The big thing about Quartzsite is the BLM here. There's actually four here. The LTVA, Long-Term Visitors Areas. Right here, this is where you pay the $180 for the full season from September the 15th to April the 15th. If you want to if you want to stay that long, it's $180 for that full season or any part thereof. And if you want to stay here for just 2 weeks, you can pay $40 for 2 weeks. There is a proposal uh, that is on the books, U.S. Department of the Interior, and that is to raise it from $180 for the season to $600 for the season. Department of the Interior is a cabinet member, which answers directly to the president. So it really, this has probably come down from that level to, uh, to raise the uh, LTVA fees. Uh, even if they do do that, then uh, it's still a deal. But I'm going to put up some information right up here in this video. If you wish, you can contact the uh, Bureau of Land Management. I wrote the uh, director of the Arizona Bureau of Land Management. And you see I'm typing here. I type 1,000 words a minute. But I wrote him the other day, and I have not received an answer back. I wrote the Yuma office, the Yuma field office, I wrote them several uh, weeks ago. I haven't heard back from them. I don't expect to. What we're going to do is take a look at this LTVA BLM all around Quartzsite. Now, there's other BLM all over, and here's a list of the states that have BLM. Now, I, wanted, I want to show you one BLM that we stayed at. I had never seen it before. It was in Idaho, McKay, Idaho, by the McKay Reservoir. This is a BLM RV park. I had never seen that before. It was nine dollars a day if you had the American Beautiful uh, Senior Pass. This is a BLM RV park. Unbelievable. Very rare. Very rare. We're seeing at the Joe T. Fellini Recreation Site. It's BLM and this is what it looks like. This is McKay Reservoir right here. Nine bucks a night if you have America the Beautiful uh, passport card. First enter there, you can get us $80 a one-time fee. Ours has paid for itself time and time again. Here again, this is the fee. The fee, $14. And it's $9 if you got the America, the beautiful pass. And you put your, your pay in here, however long you're going to stay. And you drop it in there. It's that simple. And then you keep the little receipt. Keep the little receipt right here. Can't swim from the boat dock, from that boat dock. But here it is. Look how big it is. There's little chipmunks all over the place here. Here we are. We got our outdoor set up here. When you're boondocking, we are, we are, we're not boondocking, but when you don't have sewer uh, connections, you go primitive. And we've been having fires out here every night. We decided to stay another week, and here's our $63 for the week with 50 amp service and water. Trash and dump if we want to pay the five dollars a dump. It's a beautiful day here in Quartzsite. It's absolutely gorgeous. Picture perfect day. A few clouds in the background, but other than that, it's just absolutely beautiful. Stay with us.
Actually, all four LTVAs look about the same. We're hitting La Posa West, uh, which is where we like to stay. Across the street is La Posa North, and uh, we'll take a little area of view of both of these. They look about the same. People have their preference. They come here. We're going to take a little fly over La Posa West and just give you a general layout of the area. You know, we come to Quartzsite because it's so unusual. Actually, there's no other place like it on the planet. This is an extremely unique place, Quartzsite, Arizona, the LTBA. We come here because of like-minded people. It's a beautiful place. Uh, you know, we all need shelter. We need a place to lay our heads. We need food. But we also need to be around people who think the same way we do. We come out here, we meet people, uh, people wave it to you, uh, people watch out for one another's rigs. Uh, everybody is friendly, they help one another. You could have a $250,000 rig and right next to it, somebody living out of their car and no one thinks the other is better than one. So it's why we come here. It is cheap living. It doesn't cost much to live here. If they raise the price to $600 per season, if you stayed the whole season, that would be under $100 a month. And it's just a, a wonderful place. Everybody's friendly. I've seen people give other people rides to town when they did, the car wasn't working or or they didn't even have a car. Uh, we actually uh, met a gentleman by the name of Daniel last year who needed some gas. Uh, we filled his uh, RV full of uh, gas. We gave him a five-gallon can full of gas. We gave him a handful of food. And, uh, and uh, he was just a nice guy. You know, he asked, how can I pay you back? And we said, you just pay it forward. That's all you have to do. And uh, he was uh, such a nice guy. His name was Daniel. And uh, come to Quartzsite. So that's La Posa West. La Posa North is about the same. But let's take a trip down to La Posa South. That's the one that's really different. And we'll show you the facilities down there for your water, your trash, and to dump your uh, holding tanks. So let's get going. Take it right here on 95. It's a bell up here on 95. It's about one mile down the road here south. My goodness. Hope that thing doesn't fall on me. <laughs> Crunch. Yeah, okay, I should have cleaned my windshield. Closed, uh, but uh, you come here and you get your permit. He's 96 years old and he drives that big rig and he turned that trailer into an RV. I've been in it. So this is what I wanted to show you. This is something that you most certainly will be concerned about. And this is the dump station right here. There's two stations. You get in line right here. You see where these fellas are right here. You get in line right there. Typically, and I mean this, there's a line here. And in January, believe me, it'd be a 30, 40 minute wait. Hmm. Depending on what time of day you get here. But I'm going to show you these dump facilities. Probably the most unsanitary place on the planet Earth. Pull up right there where that Jeep is on the side of the road where the little dogs are. And you just pull in and you line up here. Like I say, typically there's a line down down this way. If you have your permit, that gentleman in the, in the green vest there, he'll check and make sure you have your permit. You just come on in. Uh, you wait your turn and then you just come into one of these facilities here and do your dumping and pull up put your sewer hose here and you've got this water here you, you activate it with your foot we've got a little trailer there <laughs> got a little generator out there 
anyway you just pull right in here and you got they got four stations here one on each side you simply hook up get your potable water and then there's actually four stations across the street too there's two right there and two right here and the thing that I cannot believe y'all is that this is typically busy I don't understand it's the middle of the day and there's hardly anyone here for dumping or for water quite unusual and for our trash you just pull in here like these people are doing toss your trash on either side and uh, you're done with it and now we'll take a trip in the air and we'll take a look at La Posa South from the air and get some idea about what it looks like. We're going to use our DJI Mavic 2 Zoom drone to do that. Yes, sir. Here we are. And forth. But this is a fee area because of the services. It's been set aside years ago. I don't, I don't know when. But you can see how vast it is. You just pick out a spot, you park there, you stay there, it's yours until you leave. You're not a hassle, they don't send a bunch of people around checking on you all the time. You can put up tents, you can put up outdoor toilets, I'll rotate around and show you uh, what this looks like here. It's just really incredible. Now you can see way in the distance, that's La Posa North. Okay, here we go. Here it is. That's the garbage dump right there where we are, the trash bins that is. And that's uh, looking uh, west toward uh, uh, Highway 95. Okay, we'll get landed. I hope, uh, hope this helps. And uh, there we are, that little dot right there. And we're gonna come down. So I'll tell you what, now let's take a drive over to uh, La Posa Tyson Wash and uh, see what that's like. And we'll look at the million dollar screw up. <laughs> There's a cargo trailer he turned into a uh, travel trailer. is cross the road be very careful here over here to La Posa Tyson Wash in that port side and when it floods during the monsoon season I mean it floods Let's go back the back way we won't go we won't go back the uh, highway I'll show you two years ago they put this in and this is for the water right one two three four five six seven eight no water. I think what I, I was told is the problem was they built all this, spent all this money on this, no water. And there's a dump facility down the way here. We'll take the drone and take a look at it. Now this is the uh, water supply station, and up here, a little forward, up here you can see that is the dump station. That, uh, that never happened. And way out there you can see the reservoir that uh, they built. I promise you, it's dusty out here, and uh, it can get really, really windy wind can just be horrendous but then you have these beautiful days like today yeah we just love it there's 95 we can come here and we can stay four months and uh, kind of build up a nest egg or that is to say replenished our uh, bank account. <laughs> well, there we go. There's the uh, dump station that never happened. And uh, 
So let's come on back down and uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can wrap up this video. Again, I thank you most kindly for subscribing to this channel. It, it just warms my heart and I thank you so much. I try to uh, make good movies for you, uh, that which is interest, interesting and uh, have some value for you. And so uh, I hope you subscribe and follow along with us. We thank you. What do you got there? Tuna salad. Tuna salad. Mayonnaise, pickle, sweet and relish without sugar, eggs, celery, onion, salt, pepper, uh, mayo, and I'm going to put some green olives in it. <laughs> I know it's good. Oh, it's yeah. the best ever. Thank you so much.